you have to love not like you have to love medicine to do medicine hey guys it's rebecca here welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be talking about things i wish i knew before going to medical school why didn't i think of all these things i don't know but i'm here to talk about it the first thing i'll be talking about is i did not know that studying when you start medical school just know that that's the beginning of studying it will never end it's always one thing or the other right now i'm in my sixth year and i'm studying to get into an internship job so it keeps on going after your internship job like i'm studying for my foundation job after your internship job you are going to be studying for like to get into residency after residency you're studying for specialty so it just keeps going and going so just know that studying never ends the thing you should know is that the hardest part of getting into med school is getting in it's doable that's all i can say it's doable if you are this kind of person that is scared like you can do it it's doable most medical schools you have chances to retake your exams and you just have chances they give you chances it's not like they want to take you out maybe a few schools like the school in Hungary but they don't want to take you out so you have chances to try again so I even think the hardest part is getting in but when you get in if you are a committed student it's doable many people have done it and I don't think it's something that you can't do it's doable trust me don't let people scare you into oh it's so difficult blah 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 i know you have to put in the hard work and everything but it's doable 100 percent doable for my next point please and please i'm begging you don't compare yourself to others that's the most toxic thing you can do when you're in med school don't mind anybody that says oh i i, I studied all night i did this i did that know yourself know what you're capable of doing know what just believe in yourself and do what you do your own thing at your own pace and don't compare yourself to others if you fail an exam and someone is passing you are different from that person just go as medical students we always have chances to retake exams retake your exams work harder next time don't beat yourself up because of other people in medical school everybody have their own pace so Go at your own pace put in all your hard work and it you you believe me it's a yield results you have to know yourself like for example i have short attention span like mostly i don't gain things from lectures so when i'm in the lecture two minutes my head is somewhere else it's just something i have short attention span so if you're that kind of person you will know that mostly you have to do self-studying so know yourself if you are this kind of person that you grab things very well in class you grasp things in class know yourself know what works for you know what kind of study pattern you have to experiment different type of study patterns know what works for you believe me this is very important the way someone else's else studies is different from you even different youtubers that study it can be the same as you study so know what works for you experiment try different patterns and see which yields better results for you another thing you should know is medicine is expensive medicine is hella expensive when i wanted to start studying medicine my daddy took me to an agent and suggested the uk but yo it was a lot of money so i had to settle for europe which is a little bit cheaper so if your parents can sponsor your education that is the best that's the best gift you can ever get really because it's really expensive a lot of doctors are in debt because they want to go into the journey of medicine so if you can avoid that it's a blessing actually it's like this is very important what people tend not to understand is as a medical student find a hobby find something that you do outside medicine don't always make it about book 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 you have to find something balance your life give importance to other things 
if you like to party yes medical student party if you like to party go party if you are not that kind of person go out with your friends hang out with your friends travel just do many things that is not medical related try and balance it have a hobby it's very very important people keep on asking me how am i doing youtube and i'm even doing modeling here is a picture of one of my modeling gigs yeah you can do many things and be a doctor don't just you know make it about book 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 it shouldn't be that way try and balance your life and yeah you can find time for that trust me when i say this this is very important as well you have to love not like you have to love medicine to do medicine why do i say that there are times that it gets really frustrating there are times you know what the burnout is you get burnt out like literally you get burnt out and the only thing that can keep you going is your love for medicine so in order to prevent burnout or anything you must love medicine so if you are thinking about going into medical school and you don't have love for medicine i don't think you should because you have to love it if you don't love it you're gonna get frustrated you're gonna get burnt out and i think it's a very very negative thing that you don't want to go through so love medicine okay love medicine another thing i wish i knew i i got to know that in in the course of my study you need a support system a social support system if you want to join a group anything my support system are my friends actually um i speak to my friends especially when i feel sometimes i feel yeah when i feel a subject and i have to retake it i talk to my friends and they encourage me sometimes i cry and they're there I, they, they're like a shoulder for me to cry on when i'm frustrated they're there to help me out to bring me back to reality to cheer me up to tell me that this is not the end so you actually need a support system it's very very important you need a support system when you are in medical school because medical school is not easy and it's not difficult you can do it but you need a support system stay away from toxic classmates toxic classmates are a thing those classmates that make you feel as if you're not worth it you can do it and if you are that kind of toxic person that likes to bring people down medicine is not that way you should be able to help people out help your colleagues out so just stay away from toxic classmates they are good classmates that will help you with material that will help you out when you need help be friends with them stay away from toxic people it's very very important last but not least believe in yourself don't care about anything anybody has to say some people might even laugh at your choice of going into med school don't give any distance to that just believe in yourself that's all if you believe in yourself if you know that you can do it there's nothing and you put in the hard work not just believe in yourself you believe in yourself and put in the hard work i'm telling you you can do it a mil millions of people have done it in you can do it as well they don't have two heads according to a nigerian parent so you can do it so guys um this is the end of my video if you like my content feel free to like subscribe um i want to be doing a lot of more of medical things now because i'm i'll soon be a doctor so i want to concentrate more on that for my youtube so just tell me if you like my medical content and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my content and share with a friend that wants to go into medical school so thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye